Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to be installing Windows XP on the Compaq IPAC uh, Legacy Free PC that we uh, took a look at a while ago. And uh, In a previous video we put Windows 2000 on it using the uh, remote installation services. And today we're going to be doing the same but with Windows XP. And uh, we're not going to be installing the same versions we did on the Compaq Evo laptop. We're going to be installing the RTM version of Windows XP and uh, the only version I currently have of that is the Home Edition. So that's what we're going to be trying to install on it today. First, this is the remote installation services server thingy. I've gone through this wizard to uh, get all the installation files copied. The installation should be on the drive here, which is my hard drive. Remote install. And it's this one right here, WinXP Home NL RTM. So here are all the installation files that it's going to copy to the IPAC. So there's that. We can close this because this machine will keep running, no problem. Um, so let's actually move to the IPAC. There we go. And turn it on. And we'll try to make it boot from the network. pressing F12 so it can go into network service boot because as we all know this IPAC has a BIOS password haven't been trying to get it off yet haven't been doing too much with the machine itself anyway so let's go through this we'll use the administrator account of my domain and as we can see we are connected to RIS 2K3 which is the remote installation server Right, so now we can do some uh, different things. We're going to go through automatic setup, and instead of going for Windows 2000 Professional or XP Pro SP3, we're going to be going with Windows XP Home RTM. Yes, we want all of the data to be deleted, and uh, now we just wait for it to uh, load. Just a quick reminder for those who haven't actually seen the previous video, this is a Compaq iPad, a legacy free desktop PC, from around the year 2000 to 2001. And it features a 500 megahertz Intel Celeron CPU and 256 megabytes of PC133 memory. One of the memory sticks actually uh, died uh, in between these two videos, so uh, I put in a Micron kit of 256 uh, that I had laying around. So uh, now it's working properly again. Hard drive is still fine. It's a 40 gigabyte Maxtor Fireball, not a Quantum, but actually a Maxtor Fireball drive uh, running at. Uh, 7200 RPM, I think. It's a pretty zippy drive overall. So, uh, as you can see now, we're going to go through the setup. It's now formatting the drive, and after that, it'll start copying. Everyone's basically seen Windows XP setup, so uh, I'm going to stop talking from this point onward, and I'm just going to we'll be speeding up the footage, putting some music on it, and whatever. And uh, once it is done, uh, we'll actually take another look at the machine.
All right, so there we are. Windows XP is now installed. Let's go into System Properties here. As you can see, Intel Celeron processor, 498 megahertz, and 256 megabytes of RAM. It's a really bad habit. I don't want to add hardware. There we go. The network card is fully supported, of course. The graphics controller is fully working as well. The onboard sound is working. So everything is working right out of the box, just like it was in Windows 2000, which is nice. So that's all working very nicely indeed. Overall, the system seems pretty stable. You could even play Solitaire on it if you wanted to. So yeah, Windows XP is running. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop the video right here. Uh, I'm going to be doing some uh, software setup on this thing, make sure that everything is working properly, maybe update it to Service Pack 1 or maybe Service Pack 2, and I will take a look at uh, how that performs, and then we'll do some more in-depth stuff on uh, how this machine runs with its uh, whopping 500 megahertz worth of clock speed and 256 megabytes of RAM on its 40 gigabyte fireball drive that uh, sounds like it's seen better days but is working flawlessly still um, anyways I hope you enjoyed this video I thank you all for watching I'll see you guys in the next one